Good morning, everyone. In this week's Torah portion, we have many commandments about showing compassion, love, sensitivity to the plight of others. For example, the Torah says, do not oppress the stranger, the immigrant, the widow, the orphan. Be sensitive to their plight because they are vulnerable and they will cry out to God. The Torah says if someone is poor and destitute, it's a mitzvah to loan them money to help them get back up on their feet. The Torah tells us that if you loan someone money and they are poor and they give you their blanket as a collateral, make sure you return it to them every night so they have with what to lie down and go to sleep at night. And many times in the Torah portion, the Torah says, you know why you should act this way towards others, especially those who are weak and vulnerable and those who are the, the members of society that are most downtrodden? Because you were strangers in the land of Egypt. And therefore you know what it's like to be oppressed. And therefore you know the plight of the underdog. But the question is, isn't it self-explanatory? The Jews just came out of Egypt. Why would the Torah have to tell the Jewish people? Why would God have to instruct them to be kind and compassionate and sensitive to the plight of others when they just experienced slavery and persecution? Wouldn't they understand on their own to treat others properly? And the answer is that there's a psychological truth that says hurt people hurt people. Very often people who have been hurt in life perpetuate that hurt by hurting others. And therefore the Torah says, just because you were enslaved doesn't mean you're gonna be compassionate towards others because you recall your suffering. You may take that suffering and become cruel towards others. And therefore the Torah says, yes, hurt people sometimes will hurt other people, but you have a choice. You could either say, well, I was hurt, so I'm going to hurt others. I was abused, so I will abuse others. And many times, kids who were abused become abusive parents because that's what they know and that's what they deal, do because that's what comes naturally to them. What the, that's what they've learned. But many times, on the contrary, because you were hurt, you could remember that hurt and say, I'm not going to do unto others what was done unto me. I will transform that hurt and pain into love and compassion. And the best example, of course, is our generation. There are so many Holocaust survivors who suffered the worst atrocities known to mankind, the most barbaric and inhumane behavior. And they came out and they became the kindest, greatest, most generous humanitarians who devoted their life to goodness and kindness and being a blessing to others and to humankind. And therefore the Torah says, it's not necessarily so that hurt people hurt people. Some hurt people hurt other people. But you have a choice to turn that hurt into a springboard for blessing and kindness for others. So a story told about this child who came home from school and he was very sad. And he came to his grandmother's house and his grandmother said, why are you so sad? He said, well, the kids in school were not nice to me. They hurt me. They insulted me. And the mother said to the boy, come with me. She went into the kitchen, the grandmother, and she put up three pots of water and boiled them. And when they were boiling hot, she took out a carrot, an egg, and a coffee bean. She put the carrot into one pot, the egg into another pot, and the coffee beans into a third pot. And after letting it cook for five or 10 minutes, she said, look what happened. She said, the carrot went in hard and it came out mushy and soft. The soft boiled egg went in soft, but came out a hard boiled egg, hard. She said, some people are put into hot water into challenging situations and they go in strong and they come out weak, depleted of strength, they fall apart. Other people go in soft, kind, sensitive, loving and compassionate, but they come out hardened, they build a wall of resistance around them because of their difficult situations. But look at the coffee bean. It went into the pot, and when it was put into boiling hot water, it released all of its flavor, all of its taste, all of its color, and transformed the boiling hot pot of water into a pot of delicious coffee. She said, Sonny boy, you could take these challenges and allow it to make you fall apart, you, like the uh, carrot. You could take these challenges and make it 
turn you into a cold, hardened, insensitive person. Or you could take these challenges and recognize that you have to do things differently and you have to transform the environment by bringing more goodness, kindness, flavor, and taste and releasing all of your potential to those around you. That's what the Jewish people have always strived to do. We face adversity in every generation, but it only made us more committed and more dedicated to being a blessing and a light unto the world. Have a wonderful day.